what's up guys, my name is Ramination or Big Dolphin, and welcome back to another video. So, as you saw in the introduction, you may have seen Hopi Chow in this game, and well, Hopi Chow is, in fact, in this game, believe it or not. And if you don't know who she is, Hopi Chow is the leader of iSoup, the number one build out on Guild, and she has also been featured in two of my other videos. Uh, the one where, well, my most recent video where we did a one hour building challenge where she, her, her and Bevid have decided to 2v1 myself as well as another build battle video where we team together. She's an incredible builder, but in all honesty, I have no clue what happened at the start of this build, but her structure did give me an idea of what to do, so I eventually did start building. But instead of talking about this building, since it is just mainly filling up the shape, I wanted to talk about the upcoming event, which is which well, which well, was supposed to be during this weekend. However, because there is Thanksgiving in Canada, I don't know if Thanksgiving is the same day in America. Uh, I'm uncultured, I'm sorry. But because there is Thanksgiving, I am going to be leaving home for a short while, just over this long little weekend. And because of that, I will also unfortunately not be able to play in this promote event. So the event will be rescheduled to next Sunday on October 20th at 2 p.m. EST. I do hope to see you guys there. You know my IGN, they will often add me and we can just play. I will be recording. So yeah. Hope to see you guys there, but back to the build. So, uh, as you can see, I'm just simply just filling up the shape. I, yeah, I, I had a pretty good point when I said this is pretty boring. However, something that's not so boring is the theme, because the theme is monster, and as you can tell, monster isn't really just that common of a theme in build battle. It does turn up normally, but this was also especially turning up because it's Halloween. And during Halloween, there's monsters and girls, so are you guys going trick-or-treating or anything? I don't know. I feel like I'm a little bit too old to go trick-or-treating, However, there are people who say you can never be go too old to go trick-or-treating, but at the end of the day, trick-or-treating really is not just about the spirit, but also just about the free candy. My free my favorite candy is probably like Tootsie Rolls, Tootsie Rolls, that, is that how you say it? I haven't really pronounced candy names in our out loud to other people, but I think it's Tootsie Roll. Is that, is that right? Okay, just make fun of me in the comments if I'm wrong. Anyway, yeah, those are probably my favorite candies, if not Starbursts, maybe Coffee Crisps as well. They're pretty good. But yeah, I do look forward to Halloween. They're, the Hypixel added a new mode called Hyper Halloween Mode, and you guys have probably already seen Zine Slab's video about it, but I'm going to be playing Hyper Halloween Mode uh, sometime closer to Halloween because, well, that is kind of the point of the game mode, I guess. But yeah, with all these new themes coming in, uh, there, hope we had this interesting, I believe, original design for a monster still had no clue what this was other than the fact that there's like an open mouth and a couple of legs and through this building I was just adding a couple fences and everything to detail things but as you can see hypo hates me so it didn't actually let me add these fences uh, I just kind of spammed and listless fruitlessly just tried to add these fence fences but yeah uh, added them in the eyes place here's a better look at the build you already know the format of these videos at this point, they're probably getting a little bit old, but you know what? We still got the win and that's what matters. So yeah, round two, boys. In the second round, the theme was Snake, and Snake is a very interesting theme because, well, if you know Build Battle well enough, you know that the dragons that everybody builds, they, these really noodly dragons with absolutely no body fat, actually derive from a snake build, especially popularized by Grian when he built his swirling body snake that just looks so much larger in scale because, well, while it was just a little bit of spamming, it's covering a lot of space. So Snake obviously is a very interesting build, and along with Hopi Chow, we decided to build Arbok. Actually, she decided to build Arbok. I didn't actually notice when she told me to build Arbok, so I was just building some generic snake while she was building this godly Pokemon in the background. By the way, Pokemon. Speaking of Pokemon, I have a pretty good connection with Pokemon. I don't know about you guys, but Pokemon was actually a pretty massive part of my childhood because I originally, when I was much younger, I didn't play nearly as many video games and I was on a Nintendo DSi XL and on that, uh, I pretty much just grinded Pokemon very often. Pokemon was by far one of my favorite games ever and I played Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, which is especially one of my favorites because, well, it incorporates all these different Pokemons into a not-so-hard-to-understand, let's-just-hit-them-and-hope-that-we-kill-them kind of uh, method of gaming in Pokemon. But yeah, with all the setup, I do really have a very deep connection with Pokemon. And that brings me to my favorite Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon is actually Shinx. Uh, I don't know if you guys care to know that, but the reason behind that is because when I was first playing Mystery Dungeon, the first Pokemon I ever chose was a Shinx. And that's why Shinx will always forever hold a special place in my heart. It is one of the greatest Pokemons that I have seen because regardless of how good your Pokemon is, Shinx has 
pretty much defeated everything in that game, which is making it probably one of the stronger Pokemon, because I know that there are a few Pokemon in that game that cannot defeat a particular Pokemon, which is a very interesting thing for a game of that age to have. Some just like unbeatable characters. But anyway, Shinx is so cool because every time I think about Shinx, it just gives me this nostalgia hit of just going back to this old day and age where gaming wasn't so complicated and everybody wasn't just a toxic builder on Hypixel. Uh, no shade. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> now going back to the build, it's around this time, because I didn't really know that Hopi was building Arbok, around this time I realized that, yeah, this build is an Arbok. So, uh, I started to texture the things like an Arbok would. Aside from just adding the blue everywhere and everything, th this is pretty cool though because having an Arbok of a Pokemon or a Pokemon Arbok in a build battle thing is really showing the cartoony style of build battle and how creative you can really get. But with just a couple seconds left, I did what I do best: just spam bone meal and leaves and fences and everything. Texture the build the best way possible because everybody knows that if you spam leaves, you're a good builder. That is completely not true, and you guys actually should practice building if you want to become good at building. But yeah, spamming some leaves, spam some fence, fences, just added this grass bush kind of texture. Uh, yeah, with all this done, Arbok was now birthed, and here is a better look at the build. Now, of course, this build was pretty epic, and with that, it got a legendary, Diamond Rain. Pretty happy with that, and of course with every legendary, or with most legendaries, unless you're very unfortunate, comes a win. We got 173 points, pretty happy with this build. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really do hope you guys enjoyed- Wait, 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 wait. Excuse me? Uh, apparently this video can actually have time for a bonus round? Is that is that right? Bonus round. Wow. BONUS ROUND! Okay, uh, yeah, I realize this is one of PewDiePie's concepts, but anyway, um, instead of building with Hopi in this round, I was actually with somebody else, an expert rank, who was just only 20 score away from getting master. so huge congratulations to, uh, Rebudruk, who is the person I'm building with right now, and with a the theme soldier, uh, we decided to actually put up some beautiful knights, and, yeah. So, of course, as an expert rank, you don't really have as much practice with build battle, but to be honest, I want to say that she is one of the stronger expert ranks I've seen. She has a pretty good sense of shape, and while it isn't like perfect shape and it's still very spammy, just like somebody like Fear the Potato, no shame, no, no shade because Fear the Potato is a great builder, and spamming is sort of one of the styles of build battle. So, tons of respect to that. But her builds are still, while her builds are still sort of spammy, they do carry the generic shape that you would like. Although, with my knight, I made the mistake of not giving it a, a, like any pose in particular. However, it's a knight at the end of the day. It was a little bit smaller than her knight, but that's okay. So using Andesite, I was layering out the legs, uh, pretty simple stuff. And then I used Terracotta to bring up a generic shape of a knight's body. And this is pretty much just having the hip area uh, carved out and everything in a pretty correct shape for the most part. It will show pretty much where the muscle groups are, well not muscle groups, but just the generic parts where like you can really see a difference in shape on your body. It makes the knight seem much more muscular and structured, and with that this knight was pretty much well carried out, I hope, maybe? But yeah, it's looking a little bit bland, so I added a bit of cobblestone just to decorate the front of this knight because you can never skip decoration, decoration is so useful. But using this uh, cobblestone and andesite, I was able to make some sort of a uh, you know, armor plate kind of looking texture onto this knight, which was pretty cool to say the least. And once this was completely done, I moved on to building the knight's face. And also, since I was talking about Pokemon earlier, another thing that I get really nostalgic about in, well, in life in general, is actually knights and medieval stuff. I'm absolutely in love with that stuff, or at least I always was in the past. And the reason for that is because I used to play this game called Good Game Empire, and you probably see these ads everywhere, but as a gullible child, I didn't really respect like the, or I actually really respected, sorry, all these ads, and I was like, hey, you know what, this game actually looks pretty fun. So I stepped straight into it, and uh, it was probably one of the most interestingly dumb yet fun games at the time that I have ever played. Because while well, the game pretty much is about where you build your own town and have your own buildings erected, and just building your own kingdom. Uh, throughout the passage time, and of, of course it's a multiplayer game with other people doing the same thing. There isn't much action to it at all, but I really love the concept of, of that game, and it still carries out with me today. And because of that, knights have always been something I've really been interested in. In fact, if you see my builds from the past, many of them do incorporate medieval parts like knights or uh, wizards or 
these towers or something. But yeah, I actually didn't time my build beautifully, so I <laughs> didn't really have much time when I was just finishing up the build. However, uh, yeah, I had enough time for just the arms and the shield. And with this completely done, here's a better look at our build. Uh, of course, my knight is a little bit smaller than Rebudruk's. Yeah, but I just wanted to say congratulations to Rebudruk for getting Master Rank. And also congratulations to Timothy and Pigleet, who also happen to be in this game. But with that said, who has said it better? Subscribe to Ramen Nation, boys. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching the video now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to smash like and subscribe. And go check out my other content if you really are interested. And hit the notification bell if you want to keep getting posted about my videos. I'm sorry about the allocation of or relocation, re-timing, rescheduling. That's the right word. Rescheduling of the promo event. And yeah, it's going to be on, as I said, October 20th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go make sure that you know what time that is in your time zone. And yeah, I hope to see you guys there and I hope you enjoy this video. So with that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!